Hello, I'm River, and welcome to my Devil May Cry The Bloody Palace paint series. Today, I'll be working on Devil Trigger Trish. I start, like any other model, by trimming the mold lines. You'll find most of these on the arms, legs, along the blade of the Sparta, as well as on top of her head. Prime the model using a spray of uniform gray. I'll be honest, I didn't put as much work into this model as I do with the other ones, purely because the model's so simple I got, got a little bored with it, honestly. The only difference uh, with this in the previous Trish model is the fact that she has a more close to the chest pose with the Sparta sword. I start out with fair skin and barbarian flesh mixed. I gently base coat the entire model's exposed skin, which for Trish there's a little bit more because she has a crop top. Matte black, I go ahead and I paint all of the black clothing on her body. This includes her pants, boots, the crop top itself, as well as the meaty parts of the Sparta blade. With desert yellow, I begin painting all of the hair on her. Brown wash. Using a 2 to 1 mixture of wash to water, I go ahead and I wash the entire bit of the hair. You could also use 1 to 1 if you prefer. Gun metal. I coat the entire blade of the Sparta. It's alright if it gets a little bit on the meaty bits, we're going to cover that up again later. I also make sure to go ahead and get the little details on the belt buckles. With skeleton bone, go ahead and I paint all of the bony protrusions along the Sparta. I also use this to make a dry brush to kind of bring out a different color with the hair. I used the previous model that I'd worked on as sort of a comparison. It's not 100% done yet, but I'll work on that more later. I take my detail brush and I kind of bring out the more forward-facing bits, just very slightly. Cambian Crimson. I go ahead and I very lightly coat the entire meaty part of the Sparta blade. Chiron Gold. There is a bit of filigree or some sort of metal casing towards the hilt of the blade. You want to make sure you get that covered. Alternatively, you can just keep it black or the meat color. Brown Wash. I return to coat all of the bony bits as well as all the meat on the Sparta blade. Flesh Wash. This is where I believe I made a mistake. I coated the entire exposed skin with this Flesh Wash when I should have used a lighter tone. Treant green, paint in the little eye-like glowing bits that the sword itself has. Necromancer's cloak, I just sort of give a very light highlight on just the edges where I think the light will most hit the clothing. You could be very generous with this or you could be very specific. Ultimately, it is optional. Come back with fair skin, I sort of overdo it and it kind of looks like she has sunscreen caked all over her. Alternatively, you might just want to look at the previous video for this, I... not my best work. Trish does have a much lighter skin tone, so I believe darkening her skin down was originally was a mistake. I made this same mistake in my first video, but I went back and I fixed it. However. I don't have the time or patience right now to do that here. Skeleton bone, I give another once over on the hair to sort of bring that blonde out. Matte black, I paint the entire base, except the sort of spiky protrusion on the front to represent the facing marker. For that, I use angelic yellow. It takes a couple coats, 
but I do highlight the sort of like Trish electric energy yellow around the direction facing marker. Alternatively, you could use some sort of like cream color or something that'll stick better with the yellow to make it look more opaque. I chose to forego that and ended up having to do several coats with this yellow to make it opaque. With that, Devil Trigger Trish is done. Again, I didn't really think this was my finest piece of art, but I wasn't really having fun with it, so I just kind of burned through it real fast. Quick little video, only about five, six minutes, but what you gonna do? If you liked the video, leave a comment and subscribe. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one.